just standing at the bus station. Um, we're trying to sort out the bus to take me to where I'm going to next. I think I'm going to Turnipal. There's been a bit of discussion on the phone between people. Um, so yeah, here I am. It's uh, difficult, actually, if you don't know the language, to get stuff sorted out, because um, it's not as clear as it might be. Anyway, I'm just waiting around. Somebody's going to get a bus for me, and it's all going to be organised. Well, I'm eventually on a bus after a lot of talking, and um, I wasn't sure where I was going for a while there, because there was talking of going to Lviv, or to some Turnipal. Um, now I'm going somewhere else, so that's good. I'm going to Dubna. Well, I know Dubna, I've been there before. It's not far from Kremenitz. And Alex is going to hook up with me in the car. He'll be talking to the driver, so I should be safe. Um, I don't know how many hours I've got to go, but we've got to go through a bit of the Polish countryside to get to the border, across the border into Ukraine, and then we'll keep driving. So, um, yeah, always uh, challenging these times because uh, they seem to haggle with the drivers and, and work out which bus is going to which place. And you never know till you're on the bus where you're going and when you're going to end up somewhere. So it's quite interesting. Anyway, that's my fun for the day. Um, I'm on a bus. I'm heading in the right direction and everything's going good. So again, we're in, here in the middle of the night. I'm traveling by the bus still and we've just come out of the uh, Ukraine customs. A little bit tricky. They wanted to know why I was going to Ukraine and I had to get out of the bus and go and talk to them. Everybody else was okay. That's always sometimes what happens when you're traveling as a foreigner. But um, yes, it's still very late at night. I'm not really sure what time it is. It's very late. And I've been on, on the transit for a long, long time. Probably be about 30 hours by the time I get to Kremenitz and, and see um, Alexei. But so far, so good. My first look outside the window of my bedroom at the other house is in the street where Alexei lives and he's changed his garden a little around since I've last been here. It's quite now nice. So it's early morning, well, it's quarter to 11, <laughs> it's not really early. But I think I ended up traveling for about 30, 30 hours, 30 plus hours uh, from Brisbane to here. And then uh, I think I went to bed about 4 a.m. Nearly my time to get up to go to work time. I went to bed and I've just had a wonderful sleep for the first time in a long, long time. So that was good. Anyway, praise God, I'm here, I'm safe, and um, the journey continues. Bye. So, are we ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so serious. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my first morning in Ukraine, and uh, I'm just happy to be in uh, this house today with Alexei and Vila and Nazar, and um, I have a special presentation from the Debra Church. And so this is for you people in Debra. These are our heroes in Ukraine that you've been praying for and uh, seeing and hearing Pastor Gary talking about these people so much. So um, I'm very privileged today to be here on behalf of the Debra Church. And I would like to give you this small envelope mm -hmm. and you can open it. Okay. And I will ask you to help me to read it. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can if help possible. you. If possible. Because your English more correct than <laughs> mine. Okay. So many things here. Wow. Oh. -ho. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm sorry. This is this letter. In Ukraine too, right here, Ukraine yeah. language, yeah. and English, and here. Okay, do you help? Do you want me to help you? I must read it in English. No, yeah. I, I can read it to you, or you can read it. I will ask you to help me. Okay. Okay. Shall I read it for you? Yeah. Okay, okay let me take the letter, yeah. but look at this one too. Hold that up towards uh, me. This is... Uh, <laughs> I, 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 this doesn't need understanding, does it? Yeah. All right. That's pretty cool, isn't it? 
Okay, so this I, is... I, I'm surprised. Yeah. I was very About excited. About this information here on, on yeah. this list. And um, this, this information on this piece of paper is uh, for a special gift for Alex Ovala and Lazar from the Debra Church. And so let me read what Pastor Gary wrote to you. And um, mm -hmm. this is it. So, dear Pastor Alex A. and Viola, we have watched in horror at what happened in Ukraine since last February. We have prayed for you, for you both and for the whole country many, many times. Our heart goes out to you all. What is happening is dynamic. We have also watched with great admiration the work you have done to help people in need during this year. You always have a big smile in the photos and I believe that the Lord has used you in great way. Here at Daybridge Church, we feel privileged to be connected to you through Tom and Kerry and we wanted to send you a personal gift to be a blessing. Please accept this money as a gift from our heart to yours. Every dollar was given by the members of the congregation. We look forward to f the fighting ending and also for a good report coming back from Tom when he returns. God bless you, Pastor Gary and the Debra Church. So this is the Debra Church, their card, a big thank you. And it says here, Dear Alex A. and Viola, just wanted to say thank you and to let you know how much your thoughtfulness meant. God bless you and keep you from your family at the Debra Church in Australia. And like, uh, like the pastor said, it, this money was given freely from the people. And we were amazed because every week, oh. uh, Pastor Gary said, I must do something for Alex A. and Viola. He was so like, much. I must. And um, every week he reminded the church people. And every week people gave and gave. And he was expecting less. So uh, the check here, it's in American dollars because yeah. I, con I converted it's, the money from Australian. It's, it's very big money. So it's nearly a thousand dollars American. And um, it's so it's a wonderful. It's me so emotional now, right now. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All people, thank you very much. Thank you, dear Pastor Gary, and thank you, everybody from Daybro Church, for your help and for your love and for your caring about us. It's so port important right now because, really, uh, in Ukraine war, many difficulties, many problems, and it's very big help, and uh, it's not just uh, love by word. It's just it, it's love real love uh, with support yeah in action <laughs> yeah in action yeah. thank you thank you so much yes, thank you very much for your prayers uh, about our family about our ministry about our church about people in ukraine it's very important for all people um, thank you thank you very much yeah. and so this money it's not for the church it's not for the refugees, it's for just for you, special for you, whatever, whatever you want. So there's no special you have to, it's for whatever you need. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's big money. It's very big. Yes. Yeah.